Well, let's join together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace. Thank you that you chose to send your son, Jesus Christ, into the world to live the perfect life, to die for us, to rise again, winning for us the gift of eternal life. We thank you that we receive that gift through grace. And we pray that you would open our eyes to see the opportunities for grace in our own lives. We pray that you would soften our hearts to look for mercy as we share your great love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for the world, for your creation, for those areas of the creation which suffer at the moment, for Canada and their heat waves, for Miami and their collapsed tower block, for other nations in the world. We pray, Lord, that you would visit those nations which experience poverty and violence, warfare and famine and corruption, that you would grant them peace and strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our own Prime Minister and Government, anticipating another announcement tomorrow. So we pray that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide them as they seek to do the right thing. We pray that you would enable them to find the right balance between freedom and safety. And we pray for your people as we seek to follow the advice given to us, cautiously and prudently. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our churches, for those who lead the National Church. We pray for our own benefits of St John's with all saints, thanking you for the communities that we are praying that you would speak to us in the coming weeks as we seek to relax our own restrictions in the right ways, as we seek to love and care for our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring before you those we know who are suffering, those who are ill physically or mentally, those who are anxious or lonely, those simply struggling. Lord, we pray that you would grant them peace and strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we give you thanks for the gift of eternal life, so we recognise the pain of death, and separation. We continue to pray for those who grieve, those who have lost loved ones recently, those who continue to adapt to new lives without a loved one. We ask that you would draw alongside all of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Father, we pray for ourselves thanking you for the gifts of life and faith that you grant to us through grace, praying that the mission that we share in, we will play our part in to the full as we seek to build your kingdom here in our place on earth. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we gather our prayers together in the words that Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen.
I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene. We sing our second hymn, How Marvellous, How Wonderful. <laughs> 